Hi, I'm the Celtic Cricket, Psychic Reader, also known as Chuck Cochran, owner of the Silverwillow.com. Today, I'm going to give you a couple of tidbits on what I do for my cauldron magic. When I first started practicing magic and spells and paganism, I got a cauldron, and I was really disturbed that there's not a lot of information out there on it. So, I figured out how I can use it, and a lot of people thought it was helpful, so I'm going to tell you a few things that I do with the cauldron. Well, we know that the cauldron can be the womb of the goddess. It's got the three legs. It could be the triple goddess. It's also all the elements, air, fire, water, and earth. What's going to make your cauldron magical and useful is to use it more than just a decoration. Use it more than just an incense burner. However, I do burn a lot of things in my cauldron. I burn herbs. I throw herbs in my cauldron, let them smoke. Mugwort's great if you're trying to create um, divination. You want to do some scrying or some fortune telling, card readings. Mugwort's a wonderful thing to be burning. Also, I do a lot of spell work with my cauldron. On the new moon and on the full moon, I like to light a candle and put a candle right in the cauldron and I'll sit and meditate with this and as the cauldron is coming to life and the fire is burning within I focus on the clean slate if you will the new moon knowing that this is a good time to start projects and that the new moon is going to continually to grow every day this is a very good way of honoring the new moon. Of course, on the full moon, another thing you can do is you can certainly light a candle in your cauldron. But you can also take your cauldron outside, fill it with water, and do some scrying under the full moon. That's very easy to do on the full moon night. I enjoy that. I also like to use my cauldron to hold seasonal flowers on my altar. When I'm not using the cauldron on a daily basis, you should be doing something with it. Uh, a lot of people get cauldrons and they just stick them away and they think, oh, it's October, it's time to be witchy, let's play with the cauldron. I try to use my cauldron often. So, if you have an altar or a shrine or a magical area in your home, you could put plants and flowers to honor the changing time of the year. You can also put items in your cauldron that you want to charge. For instance, I give all my coven members gifts at certain times of the year. I will put them in the cauldron and leave the cauldron on my altar for a few days and they get a good zap. Now, many of you have probably heard about writing your problem, your issue, or, or something that you're trying to break like a habit, and you can write it on parchment paper and you can burn it in the cauldron. That's one way of getting rid of things. I like to tip the cauldron upside down once in a while. For instance, if there is a stressful situation in your life and you want to change it or you want it to nip it in the bud, you could simply write down the information on a piece of paper, put it on your altar, and flip your cauldron over and keep the cauldron covered over it for a moon phase. This is best to do on the, new, on the full moon to the new moon. If you're trying to bring prosperity into your life, love, abundance, whatever it is that you're trying to bring in. I also see the cauldron as an amplifier. It will increase. So, say I was doing a love spell. Maybe on the new moon I'll put some herbs in and burn them for love. And I may do this every day up until the full moon. You could also do this with money. You clean out your cauldron and on the new moon put a quarter in your cauldron and say a positive affirmation. Do this every day to the full moon. And on the full moon, take the cauldron outside with the change that you've collected and offer it to a tree, a sacred well. And this is a good way of bringing prosperity into your life. I also like to um, do apples around Samhain. I bring apples to all my ancestors' graves. I like to let them sit in the cauldron overnight to get a good blessing and a good charge. I just want people to use their cauldron more than just an incense burner. 
and use it for flowers, use it for all types of spell work. And if somebody's on your case and giving you a lot of negativity, simply say their name, flip the cauldron upside down, and that should shut them up for at least a month. <laughs> I found that to be very effective. These are just a few helpful hints with the cauldron. There's so much more that I do with it. And I hope this will inspire you to start using your cauldron as a sacred tool, because it is. I love cauldron magic. Um, and when you get a cauldron, you may want to dedicate it to a particular deity that you work with. And just remember, you put the magic in. Thank you for watching. I'm the Celtic Cricket.